a bunch of things like that. For example, I'm gonna click right here on the tweaks, tweaks and mods. Look at all the customizations they got so far. Background tab, show X on there, show the battery icon with 100% increments. Wireless and I mean, it's pretty endless. Look at all that, all these tweaks. And they're just cab files, so you install them and then basically it should work. Toggle X slowdown, the camera fix, memory tweak. They got a bunch of random stuff. But bookmark the page, XDA forums. Or you can just Google XDA HD, HD2 and it should bring you up to something like this. Yeah, you see, they just got a bunch of stuff. So if I were you, I'd get on that. I mean, and also, if you want to put custom ROMs on your phone, it's like people make whole ROMs and tweak it out to the max and, you know, just put it in one package so you can download it and install it on your phone. You can try that. Let me go to an example of one for you. They basically take the software of the phone and you know fix a bunch of things add a bunch of customizations and it's pretty see they got YouTube videos screenshots just check that out XDA forum that's all you need to know to find apps tips tricks ways to hack the phone and it's all simple because simply just you know install a cap file What else? Here's the Wi Fi remote access. See, I can control everything right from the computer. No need to, uh, no need to fiddle around with this foolish, uh, active sync. Other than that, that's like the main way to. Pimp the phone. We can go over to the settings tab. Some things you should definitely change. I mean, if you don't use, I would say stuff like the GPS. I mean, I turn all of this crap off and weather sync. I put that to like every six hours to get the new weather because, I mean, really, why do you need new weather updated every like one hour, two hours? Weather settings every six hours. Only thing I think I got on is Facebook Sync. And I don't really use HTC Peep. For the Twitter, I just use Mo Tweets. Best Twitter app out there. It's called Mo Tweets. I think I got a link for it, but you could just Google it. I think they got a free version. Mo Tweets. Let's see. Uh, location. I don't know why YouTube turned back on, but I turned that off. The stocks, I turn all of that off. I'm sure if you don't use stocks, turn all of these things that sync off. Active sync. Oh, I mean, a few people ask me, how do you remove some of those tabs? You just click on menu. Uh, oh, no, wrong one. Kind of difficult to control this on here. Basically, just tap on menu and you go to what is it? 
it's not on mine since I installed this cookie home tab editor, but I think it's called like edit uh edit tabs and you can turn off that silly uh footprints and stock tab. I think I figure it just drains battery because I don't use the footprints nor do I use stocks. But yeah, if you want to pimp your home screen out like this, once again, it's a program I got on XDA. It's called Cookies Home Tab Editor. Download that. Just Google it. XDA. Hold on. Let me see if I can find it for you. best thing out no no actually when you get the OPM market it's in there the apps to check out in the old market when you download that which you should unless you're an idiot get an app called clean RAM uh what else definitely you can get the cookies home tab editor or I mean you can get cookies home tab editor right from XDA if you want to make sure you stay on top of the updates I think the newest version is 1.7.2. Oh, and also with Cookies Home Tab Editor, one thing you can download from Old Market, get this CHTE editor. It helps you, uh, it's like a complement to Cookies Home Tab Editor, it lets you edit a bunch of settings. I think when you install Cookies Home Tab Editor by itself, you know, it just lets you use the general functions, make it for screen, you know, add an app drawer. But the editor right here lets you customize a bunch of tweaks for it and, you know, get more widgets, different kind of clocks. So make sure when you come on XDA, you download both of them. Cookies Home Tab and Cookies Home Tab Editor. I think you install Cookies Home Tab first. See? get cookies home tab here click that download the newest version at the top then download cookies home tab editor or you can download both but just run cookies home tab first then run cookies home tab editor basically tweak your phone out as much as you want to see that I just got the four app drawer I got the notification bar and of course you can edit like the clock, change the clock style, do a bunch of stuff. But that's the beginner's guide. We get your HD2, T-Mobile upgrade number one, freewebpocketpc.net, sign up number two, three, definitely download Old Market. Download the cap file right to your phone if you're doing it from the phone. Next. Get familiar with XDA forum for all your questions, tips, tricks, mods, whatever you want to do to the phone. Definitely get Cookies Home Tab, Cookies Home Tab, and Cookies Home Tab Editor. Download those two cap files. Run Cookies Home Tab first. Bam! Phone is running perfect. Should have no lag. Should be custom how you want it. And of course, there's just a lot of things you can do with apps I got a few apps I mean you could message me for them but of course I can't take the time to email you so if you message me I'll give you the links through the messages on YouTube but don't send me any email addresses or phone numbers because you know I'm not te technical service for T-Mobile I'm just trying to help how I can but just hit me up